At number 10, Danielle Cohen. TikToker and YouTuber Danielle Cohen has been causing some controversy online for a little while now for various reasons. She's known for getting buzz online for her clickbaity videos and scandals, like one where she made people think that she was married and pregnant. The social media star posted a photo online making it seem as though she was expecting a child with one of her former partners, as well as filming and posting a wedding service in Vegas, making people believe that she married said partner as well. A lot of people were taken aback by the speculation, especially because of the drama that's been surrounding the TikToker's age. Online, Danielle has been making people believe that she is older than she really is, saying that she's currently 17, but in reality, she's around 15, 16. If what her father says about her age is true, this means that Danielle has been living a sort of fake life online, pretending that she is older than she is, but she maintains that she is how old she says she is, and it's just a lot of back and forth debating. Do you think Danielle is lying and living a fake life? Let me know down in the comments. At number 9, Brittany Dawn. One of the fastest ways to lose followers as an influencer is by lying or scamming your fans, and this is how TikToker Brittany Dawn was exposed for being fake. Back in 2018, Brittany Brittany faced heaps of backlash after she was accused of scamming her followers into paying $300 for a diet plan, exercise program, and online coaching session. Not only that, but she also promised her fans that she would be providing them with a book to follow along with her course, but it turns out that this was all a scam since after paying for the package, many people received nothing at all. One customer actually tried confronting her about stealing all this money from her fans, and she eventually owned up to her scamming ways and made an apology video, but only after reading a pretty vague and insincere apology from her phone, addressing the backlash that she was receiving. Even now, Brittany still hasn't issued full refunds to those who had been conned, and some people even started a petition to stop her from promoting this program, warning future customers about its fraudulence. In the petition, it says, quote, with over 500,000 followers, primarily made up of young girls, Brittany falsely promotes women empowerment on her social media platforms while continually scamming and lying to her followers, clients, and fans. Brittany has scammed hundreds of women out of their hard-earned money through fraudulent practices of her LLC, Brittany Dawn Fitness. Now, before I carry on with the list, I would like to take a moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far because we really appreciate your support and it helps the channel out a lot. At number 8, Adil Rush put. Imagine faking a tragedy just to get famous. Sounds sickening, but it's been done before. TikTok star Adil Rush put is someone who tried to trick his fans into believing that he had died just to gain fame, but when fans found out, things got ugly for him. Basically, the story here goes that Adil got his wife to make a video informing his fans about his passing, saying that Adil was quote, no longer with us, and that he had gotten into an accident and passed away. As fans did, they mourned the loss of this creator, and even the influencer's local mosque announced Adil's passing. Many fans made their way to the TikToker's house to share their condolences, only to find Adil alive and well. He was caught living a fake life, or maybe that would have been a fake death. Either way, it was fake and fans weren't happy. A tragedy like this isn't something to fake or make light of. In the wake of this controversy, Adil's wife blamed the media for blowing up the story and quote, sensationalizing on their pain, end quote. Soon after getting caught in their lie, Adil posted a video of him in a cast with his head bandaged and fans were angry that Adil pulled a stunt like this. He started trending on Twitter being cancelled by fans and his popularity took a real hit. At number 7, New Main. TikTok star New Main has been exposed for having a fake online presence after it was discovered that none of their content is original. A TikTok user by the name of Joey Bailey exposed New Main for stealing content from other creators on the platform and passing it off as his own. Joey posted a video to the platform doing a side by side comparison of New Main's videos and other creators' content, showing that the material is basically identical. This exposure had mixed feelings, with some agreeing that this content theft is wrong, while others debate that this sort of thing is expected on TikTok. I think the part that really upset most people was the fact that New Main basically built their whole platform off the backs of other creators with no recognition. But what are your thoughts on this? At number 6, Taylor Paul. If you could get famous by being haunted, would you do it? For TikToker Taylor Paul, that's how she amassed 1.9 million followers on the platform because some of her biggest videos on the app are about her house allegedly being haunted. To give you an example of how haunted her house really is, take a look at this clip. It looks like something straight out of Beetlejuice, but some people are skeptical of just how haunted this TikToker's house really is because it just looks too staged to be real. There are fans out there who say that the haunted house content that Taylor posts is 100% fake, and it's just a matter of people moving things around with string and other editing hacks. Taylor is seemingly living a fake life by pretending to live in a haunted house. I'm sure that people who have actually had paranormal experiences could tell you that you wouldn't want to be in that kind of situation, never mind flex it. So this is just a case of faking it till you make it. At number five, Bella Port. 
porch. Here's some speculation that I'd like you guys to debunk. While there may not necessarily be concrete evidence, many people who frequent the internet and specifically TikTok believe that one of the platform's creators is living a fake life. Bella Porch, known for her lip syncing and now budding music career, is who a lot of people suspect is living a fake life, with those believing that she's using a fake name and was created as a brand by the marketing company BAS Media. The reason people seem to believe that Bella is fake is because there's seemingly no evidence of an internet presence prior to 2020 where she suddenly blew up online. Although this type of boost in fame is possible, it's rare to see someone go from 0 to 100 that quickly, so people think that she was hired simply to become famous. Much like many other creators on the platform, Bella has had her share of controversies and scandals, but as we know, sometimes these scandals are created just to get someone's name in the news, so maybe this marketing scheme theory really could be real. But what do you guys think? At number 4, Jedediah. This next TikToker known online as Jedediah blew up on the app after a video he posted trying a milkshake for the first time went viral on the platform. This user was allegedly posing as an ex-Amish person and had been making content experiencing things that he supposedly had never experienced while living in the Amish community, but was later exposed for lying about everything. It turned out that Jedediah had never actually been Amish and made the account as a joke. Another user on the app posted a series of videos on the app exposing Jedediah and his lies, revealing that he was actually just a guy from South Carolina named Ethan Linder. According to sources, quote, his sister literally posted a stupid video that took off unintentionally. They claimed that nothing was ever intended as a scam and this just took off on the app as a fluke. The first post that blew up on the app gained over 9 million views, leading to the Jedediah page receiving about 370,000 followers and soon they allegedly asked fans for money as they linked a Venmo page for quote, Jed's next adventure. After fans found out that this was all fake, they didn't take kindly to the news, especially those who contributed to the page monetarily. At number 3, Nessa Barrett. TikTok star Nessa Barrett is one of the platform's biggest creators with over 16 million followers. Since blowing up on the app, she was considered to be part of the Hype House as well as the Sway House, gaining popularity with a number of other big time TikTok creators. With a lot of the success that she was already gaining from the platform, she slowly transitioned into creating a music career, but after posting a music video for one of her songs, people called her out for being fake and copying another artist. Some fans were quick to point out that one of her music videos looked a lot like artist Peach PRC's video for her song. Thankfully for Nessa, she didn't receive too much backlash for this since Peach was pretty understanding about the content being copied. It seems like there's a lot of copying and recycling of content with these TikTokers, which makes people think that these stars aren't actually as creative as they claim to be. Nessa was pretty much living a fake life in the sense that she took credit for another person's creativity, making fans think that she did it all on her own when that wasn't exactly true. At number 2, James Conkar. A TikTok user by the name of James Conkar was recently exposed for selling fake vaccine cards and posting about it on their TikTok page. Another user named Savannah Malm was the one to expose James for selling the fake vaccine cards and for other rude behavior online. After being exposed for their actions on the app, Malm also exposed James for being an employee at a company called 1305 Creative where he works as a quote, internet marketing and medical specialist. Not only that, but James is allegedly also an anti-masker, leading people to believe that James is leading a fake life either at work or online because his beliefs differ so drastically depending on where you look. After being exposed online, James lost his job at the company, which just shows you that A, you can't be posting about illegal activities such as selling fake documents and B, you can't work as a medical specialist and be against the measures being taken to keep people safe during the pandemic. And finally, at number one, Vu Nguyen. Capping things off, we have TikToker Vu Nguyen who was exposed for queer baiting after posting a series of videos pretending to be a gay couple. The videos that Vu posted with their friend Ben showed the pair doing quote, cute couple things and even though at first it had the internet enamored with their young love, it soon turned into criticism after they were exposed for faking it all. They were also exposed by fellow classmates who alleged that the pair had been homophobic to other queer kids in the school, just adding to the internet inferno that they were already facing. Most people were upset to see that they were living this fake life because their alleged relationship gave hope to other gay couples that they too could be celebrated, but instead it hurt the community, as many said that this is damaging to the gay community and is seen as queer baiting. Coming to number 10, Addison Rae. Addison Rae has pulled in a massive following on TikTok that has led to some big opportunities for the young star. At 20 years old, she has over 80 million followers on TikTok and over 38 million followers on Instagram. However, some potentially problematic posts from Addison's past began popping up all at once. First, she was accused of blackfishing, but what became more of an issue was that she had not addressed any of these older videos. A YouTuber named Daniela Perkins shared the controversy and admitted that she was a fan of Addison, but in lieu of her lack of apology, Daniela said, maybe she's changed the way that she sees things, but we don't know because Addison hasn't said anything. Perkins said this in a video where she was highlighting the post Addison is being called out for, adding, the worst part about it is that she hasn't said anything. She didn't really comment on the matter, but did change her profile picture to just say Black Lives Matter, so I don't know if that was going to be enough to save her, and as far as I know, she still has never spoken on this. Coming number 7, Chase Hudson.
Hudson. It was the Sway House rap song called Still Softish by Josh Richards and Bryce Hall that really began the ending of Lil Huddy's career on TikTok. The music video accused Chase of cheating on Charlie D'Amelio, and this sent shockwaves through the hype house, which had once believed that they had the influencer house plan down pat. In reality, these group house ideas for creating content seem like a good idea, but with that many personalities in one house, there are bound to be conflicts. When the breakup happened, all seemed to be well and good, with Charlie actually saying that they would remain friends. However, Lil Huddy did not like that music video and put the whole house on blast, which then did absolutely nothing but cause Charlie to then attack him for trying to play the victim. Coming to break, Emilu. Believe it or not, but there are entire compilations on YouTube of people in the TikTok community just saying the N word, and because it's so prevalent, people rarely get called out for it. This TikTok star, though, took things to a whole different level and built a big following on the platform because she seemed to be this weird but funny and relatable person who was open about her struggles with mental health and body image. A lot of people can relate to that, but when someone posted a video of her yelling the N word out of a car window, her career took a nosedive that you just can't come back from. Following the scandal, she made several videos apologizing to her fans, but the damage was already done. Coming number seven, Avani Reyes. If there was one thing that the Gorilla Glue TikTok trend showed us, it's that clout can be just as dangerous. But to achieve said clout, the last thing you should be using is super glue. I mean, try sticking to who you are instead of jumping on a trend to copycat someone else. For example, let's take TikToker Avani Reyes, who shortly after witnessing Tesca's enormous payout for her accidentally putting Gorilla Glue in her hair, decided that she would just do the same. However, even as she tried to claim it was an accident, many people saw right through it. Not only was she stuck in a similar situation now where she requires surgery to have the glue removed, but she was going to have to go through a tough time raising enough money from people who had already helped someone else do the same exact thing. Cloud is a lot like feeding a seagull. You know, if you eat one of them, the rest of the flock comes rushing in to take what's left. And then by the end of it, it's just bird poop everywhere. Coming to number six, Ellie Zeller. When fans of Charlie D'Amelio saw Ellie basically posting Charlie clickbait, they immediately began to throw shade. To show you just how similar Ellie's videos have been to Charlie, a YouTube account called Exotic shared the side-by-side -side comparison. Now, Ellie has to know that what she's doing when it comes to the way that she got famous on TikTok. I mean, this lookalike has got Charlie's entire appearance dead on, right down to the glasses. This battle of the copycats, though, extended far beyond TikTok and reached Twitter. A Twitter account was even made using Charlie D'Amelio's name, except dropping the L from the Charlie, and on the account, they started posting photos of Ellie and claimed it was Charlie's backup account. In an attempt to clear up the Twitter account situation, Ellie went live on TikTok with her entire family. In the video, her mom comes to her daughter's defense, saying that the whole situation was ridiculous. Ellie then goes on to state again that she only has one Twitter account and that she doesn't even know how it works. On top of being accused of copying Charlie D'Amelio, another group of TikTok fans also said that she was trying to look like Avani as well. Coming to number five, Tayden. Tayden was an early adopter of the TikTok app and therefore made a giant mark on the platform. He became widely known for his funny yet brief comedy sketches, which typically featured a disheveled wig. With over 3 million followers and another 70,000 subscribers on YouTube, he certainly had a dedicated fan base. As soon as his popularity began to rise, though, so did his controversies. Another TikTok star named Ian Allen accused Tayden of inappropriate behavior after meeting Tayden on Grindr. He claimed that he didn't know that Tayden had a big following, but was interested in him regardless. In response to this accusation, Tayden tweeted, Never in my life would I have thought I'd be depicted as such a terrible person. It's never been who I am. I've definitely learned, and I can't do anything else but let others kill me. Love you all who have supported me. Thank you. So he didn't really even try to claim innocence, which just made his fans more disturbed by the accusations. Coming number four, Tony Lopez. Hype House member and TikToker Tony Lopez currently has just over 22 million followers on the platform. And all of his videos are mostly just him dancing like every other TikToker. But little do his fans know, Tony has been accused by several girls of flirting and soliciting nude photos for them while they were under age. Two of which came forward over the summer and accused the influencer of battery and even emotional distress. Both claimed the 21 year old social media star attempted to coerce them into inappropriate encounters and solicit explicit photos from them, despite knowing that they were under age. At first, he denied that he would ever do such a thing until screenshots backing what these girls said surfaced online. Following this, he was dropped by the spa and beauty brand called Bliss and issued a statement where he said, I know these actions are not taken lightly and were extremely irresponsible of me. As a young man, I will hold myself responsible for this mistake rather than run from it. I will learn from it to help better educate myself for now and the future. I promise I will make better, well informed decisions. Mm hmm. I'm sure you will. Coming up three, Ava Louise. Ava Louise has been exposed for faking a lot of stuff on TikTok, but perhaps the strangest rumor was when she suggested that Kanye West had an affair with Jeffree Star. According to TMZ, Kris Jenner even said that she was prepared to sue the TikToker for that rumor, which then led to Ava herself admitting that the entire story was fake and simply to gain clout off of the divorce of Kim and Kanye. A rep for Kris Jenner even told TMZ, zero clue who this person is, but if she continues to spread lie after lie and a fake letter in a desperate cry for public attention, which she has admitted on record that she's seeking, then we will have no 
choice but to take legal action on principle, adding, making up fake stories in an effort to monetize and get attention which has a direct effect on people's lives is not okay. Perhaps she should spend that time instead seeking the help that she clearly needs to deal with her issues. Kind of torched her on that one. Coming number two, Zoe Laverne. The 19 year old TikTok star may have had dreams of becoming more famous through the app but thanks to a recent exchange of private Instagram DMs being made public, she's become famous for all the wrong reasons. Now a while back Jared and I discussed the texts that were leaked between Zoe's ex and his new girlfriend and within those messages the accusation that Zoe had acted inappropriately with a minor arose and thus the litany of backlash followed. A few days after she went live on her Instagram and attempted to address the accusations, she insisted that while she has a young fan base, she would never act inappropriately with them. When apologizing for the kiss that was captured on camera though, Zoe said, I am sincerely sorry, like genuinely sorry, it is a mistake that I will never make again and it was a choice that was not the best choice in the entire world to make and it was something that bothers me still to this day, I'm really sorry again. But then on Halloween it appeared that Zoe had just posted again on her TikTok acting as though none of this even happened. Coming to her number one spot, Faisal Siddiqui. This one actually made me sick to my stomach and I can't believe that TikTok would even allow content like this on their platform. Faisal had made a video where he is seen throwing water on a woman's face after she left him for another man. The next clip shows this woman's face covered in heavy makeup to make her appear as if she had been attacked by acid. This guy has over 13 million followers on the platform so the controversy surrounding the video had big consequences. TikTok removed the video after the National Commission for Women filed a complaint and demanded that strict action should be taken against him. Leading to a spokesperson from TikTok saying, keeping people on TikTok safe is a top priority and we make it clear in our terms and services and community guidelines that clearly outlines what is not acceptable on our platform. As for the policy, we do not allow content that risks the safety of others, promotes physical harm, or glorifies violence against women. The behavior in question violates our guidelines and we have taken down content, suspended the account, and are working with law enforcement agencies as appropriate. There goes that TikTok career.